because you're watching the HD Tech Buzz right now and this is a tutorial on how to set up a YouTube One channel or just a YouTube channel. That's the new design. That's what they're calling it. Just came out a few months ago as of today's video date we got up here. So let's go ahead and get started here right now. This is what it's going to look like right after you set up that YouTube account. If you haven't seen that video and you would like to, I did make a video on how to make a YouTube account. If you really need to know how to do that, I'll put the link in the right hand corner as always. That's where all the links go. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, here we got your bland YouTube One channel. Nothing going on here. I There's no point in even having a channel like this if you want to make videos. You got to add channel art. You got to do all this over here, this, uh, this channel setup checklist. You got over here for you. They got this really nice checklist for you, but I'm just gonna X out of it. I don't care. I don't want to. I don't want to use that. Let's just, let's just go by what I'm gonna tell you. So just taking a look at all of this, what are we gonna want to do here? So I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna start from left to right. I'm just gonna go across on this starting page, this home page. As you can see down here, this is the home page. So over here, this is just, this is more of account stuff, all your private stuff, your subscriptions and, you know, any suggestions YouTube has for you. This has nothing to do with your YouTube channel. Everybody has this bar everywhere they go on YouTube. As of right now, they'll probably change the design in like 30 days or 10 days or who knows when they're going to change it, but they probably will. So moving over, your subscriber count will show up up here, all of your informational stuff. As if you're signed into the account, this is going to look different if you're signed out. This is what it's going to look like if you're signed out, which is a really cool feature, actually. You could be signed in, and you can view your channel as public to see how it's going to look for everybody else. And you can do that by doing what I'm doing right here, going in the top right-hand corner of your channel art box up here, and just hitting view as public, which I just did. And then you got your view count over here. Like I said, this is going only going to show up here if you're signed into your account. Video manager, this will take you to all your videos. I'm not going to go in there. You can just manage your videos there, edit them, do, you know, do all this kind of crap. Oh. And I've missed this right here. This is your channel icon. It was on the checklist that you probably saw before. This is basically now your channel icon is what's going to show up if, uh, you know, if you comment on something, there's a picture. It's your profile picture, basically. So if you click on this now. I did mention this in the last tutorial about how you make a YouTube account. This is currently connected to your Google Plus account. So you have to edit your picture on your Google Plus as of right now. And then it'll show up with YouTube. It's kind of like a, a, a synchronized system here. Everything you do on Google Plus to your Google Plus profile is going to be what's going to happen to your to your YouTube channel. So you got to edit that on your Google Plus profile. Let's say you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I do not want my Google Plus profile with link to my YouTube channel. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. Just go up to the top of the drop down menu and go to YouTube settings. And once you're in YouTube settings, take a look here. It's got your name and your profile picture. Now change, click this right here, change to business or other name and disconnect Google Plus profile. You may not want this because before when you signed up for your Google account, you may have put your real name on there and that's what's going to be showing up on your YouTube channel. You probably don't want that if you're going to be making videos and publicizing yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and think of a username real quick. I'm going to do the HD Tech Buzz Fan because that's the name of this YouTube channel we're on. I'll be all weird and put buzz, you know, like, all right, whatever. So, so that is now how my YouTube channel appears and that's how my username appears up at the top. See, and now your Google settings aren't even there because YouTube knows now, okay, we know you don't want to be connected with your Google Plus profile. You're on your own now on YouTube. So that's real nice. So now look, you got that the better name, I guess, possibly better or worse. So now you can change your channel icon without being bugged like that and having to go into Google Plus. You can use a default image or you can upload an image and I most people prefer to up upload an image that they've made or something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and use the default image. You know how to change that if you want to. Next over here is your channel art. This is just like a banner on your channel. And it's really cool how this works because YouTube channels now show on TVs. And the new YouTube One channel supposedly works really well with mobile layouts and everything on all different devices. They're all this cool stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. See, on the desktop, it just got this top thing on the TV. It's the whole screen and the mobile. It's at the very top. So whenever you make, if you're going to make a YouTube One banner, the recommended size is right here. This is what you want to make it. 2560 by 1440 pixels and it can only be 2 megabytes big. 
So that's if you want to make your own channel layout. And the reason it's so big is because, like I said, it shows on TVs, it shows on desktops, but you want to make sure that you make it good for computers. That's my biggest suggestion because most people are going to be looking at your channel on a computer. That's the thing here. So you're just going to go ahead and select that. Oh, and you can also adjust it and crop it and everything the way you'd like. And moving over, I'm just going to move over here, related channels. These are really not related channels. These are just default channels. Since we haven't put out any content, they don't know how to rate your channel and give suggestions. So I'm just going to disable that maybe I'll enable it some other time you can also feature channels like your friends channels or something like that and that's going to take you to the about section here I actually I'll show you that later anything you configure up here also is configured down here in the about section so just moving it just moving over here settings right here this is just all your YouTube settings this really it doesn't have much to do with your channel. It does and it doesn't. It's mostly more of your rights on YouTube. You can monetize your unlimited upload option, external annotation. This is dealing with more of your videos, not your channel layout and everything. Moving over to the right, you got your videos tab. Don't have any videos yet, so let's go over to discussion. Now this is where people can comment and say this. You can comment and put what you think of the channel and everything and any feedback you have on what the people make over here. That's a discussion tab. Moving over to the about tab, this is where a lot of it, you can go ahead and write your channel description. You can say what you do on YouTube. I love to vlog, I'll just put that. You just tell people what you do on YouTube there. Now you can also add links. What this means is you can add Add your Facebook you can add your Twitter you can add your LinkedIn on here anything any social network but the thing is you can only have four of them so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and it's all going to appear up here no matter where you are in the channel in the videos or the discussion tab it's always gonna appear up here somewhere so as you can see it's up here on the channel art section now you can also make one of those bigger I believe so you can also have one thing that's bigger than the rest of these little things over here and they call this a custom link so I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a uh, call it website or something I'm gonna have the link here this is my website to my, with my other YouTube channel it's a VFX channel if you want to check it out there's a link on my channel I'm not on the YouTube one channel layout currently so social links are the smaller ones and you'll see what I mean in a second if I add this one, the custom link, it is a bigger thing up here, and it's more featured than all the other ones. It's more, it's more privileged. It has a bigger, bigger look to it, I guess you could say. So you can also feature your friends' channels on here, which is something you could do in the past. You could also add links in the past. You could pretty much do all this in the past. It just look different. I'll just add my um, other YouTube channel on here. So that is also going to appear up here whenever I hit done because it is a featured channel. I go ahead and reload the page here see it does appear up here now so that's really cool I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to that guy cuz he's just awesome and you can also make your subscription private if you want to or make them public I'll go ahead and make them private now whenever you do anything whenever you like a video it's gonna ask you do you want this private or do you want it public and it'll save that for the next time you do that same action because as you can see make likes private you can do that by the way that's on my, uh, my other channel if you want to go check it out you can also choose if you want to leave comments private uh, um, let's go ahead and say nice video down here also I can show you what that means you see hide comments on channel I'll just go ahead and hide the comments on the channel and then you can go back up here to hit my channel you just got the email all right you can also go here and in the middle here you can see that it gets shaded whenever you hover over that taskbar you can go ahead and just click anywhere well, sorry, not anywhere. Just go over and click that edit button and you can add a browse tab or you can add a browse tab. You can enable that. You can also choose what you want public and what you want and what you don't want public like your your likes, your subscriptions, your comments. You can also configure the discussion section. You can enable it or disable it and you can display comments or don't display until they're approved. As you can see, we have the browse tab here this is where you can make a trailer for people who aren't subscribed and then when they subscribe they'll get to see what they want to watch next and everything and all that cool stuff you can also add uh favorites here and any playlist recent uploads all this kinds of all this kind of stuff so it's a pretty cool layout you can configure a lot of things with this and then this arrow up here it's kind of small you can change change from the browse tab to the feed tab which is pretty cool so this up here is for your unsubscribed users only. It's that channel trailer. Everything else down here is for people who subscribed. 
then the YouTube One channel has that feature where it'll shuffle through your videos and tell you what to watch next. Try, try to get you views on all your videos. I've seen a lot of this done on other YouTube One channels. So it is a pretty cool layout. You can also post something on your channel. And you can also search the channel at the very end here for videos. But there are no videos. So get making some videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope this helped you out. Hit that like button and leave a comment if it helped you. I think I repeated that twice. And I'll see you guys later.